Hi everybody, welcome to your Toyota game recap. The Avs looking for a response after losing on Wednesday night 4-1. to one. I'd say the response was pretty good. Eight pickle over the St. Louis Blues. First like period, no, no score after the first period. Wondering where the goals are. Oh, I mean, it was just... Off the charts, the Avs just demolished St. Louis tonight. Yeah, they sure did. And, you know, Gabe Landeskog scored his 200th goal tonight. And it was actually on an awesome pass from Miko Rantanen. But we're going to show Miko Rantanen's 100th career goal just because it's cooler. Let's take a look, folks, So how it went down. And, you know, we love it. Kale McCarr factors in, but there's McKinnon. He is the root of everything good. How that wasn't a penalty, I don't know. But that just throws the Blues defense into a big kerfuffle. There's my fancy new laser. And right in the corner, we got Nazem Kadri. He's going to dig that puck out, and then he's going to pass it to the point. And here's what I love. Kale McCard never takes his eyes off of Bennington. He knows that Big Miko's over there ready to just unload his 100th into the back of the net. And let's watch perfection. There's McKinnon in front. I slow that down because McKinnon, he's there screening, doing what he's got to do, playing the ugly parts of the game as well. But just look at that shot, folks. And look at McKinnon. You ever done that? Well, that's what I look like when I come into the studio to see what color jacket you're going to wear. Somewhere you're just like, oh, God. It's like you're going to get beaned with a baseball. McKinnon's like, just don't hit me, Miko, whatever you do. And here's another look. I love the black and white. You just see how fast that happens. And I'm telling you, when you're on the ice, that's what it looks like. At least it did to me. It was all a blur. It was so fast. <laughs> well, it's because they're going so fast by you on the bench. <laughs> that's right. As I'm cheering to everybody. But there it is. Miko ran, and, and we kind of compared him, you know, getting down on that one knee. You forget that he's six foot five. He's a huge man, but he's got that Brett Hall release. He loves that pass from either McCarr or McKinnon for most of the time and just buries it in the back of that wide open net. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's get to the schedule. There's a little stumbling, bumbling in just, there. Just it? one yeah. little bumble, but it's not bad. It's three in the morning. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to my life. Hey, look at this. <laughs> uh, we're done here at home for just, uh, you know, four or five days. Touch. Uh, Going to take on the L.A. Kings. They lost last night. Ducks got beat by... Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights in their back home against San Jose. But Riker, real quick, this is our schedule. You know, you get a couple days off here, Saturday, Sunday, and then once we start on Tuesday, boom, we're on it. Here's what I love about the Avalanche. They are young, they are fast, they are built for a lot of hockey. We are finishing this month. Are you ready, folks? Eight games in 13 days. You got two back-to-backs in there, then a game every other day. Nathan McKinnon is just licking his chops for this. His whole team is ready to plow through the NHL and score 100 goals while doing it. Eight times in 13 days. Psh, psh. <laughs> hey, team one. Psh, 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 psh. This is so stupid. <laughs> okay, we'll see you on Tuesday uh, right here on Altitude when the Avs take on the LA Kings. Mark Rycraft, I'm Kyle Keefe. We'll see you around the rink. <laughs>